Hey teachers, it's been a minute, right? So I've gathered four warm-up activities and ESL games for when you're feeling a little bit down. These activities work fine with almost all levels and you can just implement them right away in your next class. Let's go! <laughs> Let's start off with hanging hashtags. This is a great way to get the whole class up and moving, especially if you're introducing a new topic. On the board, I write the targeted vocabulary word using a hashtag. Then I have the entire class write on small pieces of paper what pops into their heads when they see that topic. For example, once I wrote close because our lesson was about that and students wrote down words or phrases that they thought were related to close. Each student can write down up to three words, let's say, but they can write more if they want. After that, I ask them to go and stick their words around the classroom. I usually get my tape ready beforehand for this part of the game. Then I put them into groups and have each group go around the classroom collecting hashtags as fast as they can. I don't explain why yet, and students usually think that that was the game. Actually, their game is just about to begin. So after each team gets their fair share of hashtags, I tell them that you now have to write down sentences using all of the hashtags you've just collected. If you're teaching intermediate or advanced levels, go with a short story or paragraph in a set of simple sentences. Let's move to take two. Show students a short video with the sound off. Play it first just to get their first impression, then play it again, and this time, have them take notes to have a small talk about what they think is happening. Let me tell you, some answer is gonna be really unpredictable, and other answer is gonna be like really hilarious since you're the only one who knows what's really happening in that video. Finally, watch it again with the sound on, and now they can discuss how they previously came to their conclusions about that video and how accurate they were. Now we got none of the above. This is my go-to activity for when I'm feeling sad because it always makes me laugh out loud or at least put a smile on my face. I ask students to take turns, whether as groups or pairs or even individuals, to give a prepared speech where they try to convince the rest of the class that it's not a good idea to and I pick the most ridiculous argument, like it's not a good idea to study for a test. It's not a good idea to vote for me to be president. Last on our list today is fly swatter. I write all previous vocabulary words on the board. Students take turns in twos to run up to the board and swat the correct answer first. For instance, a green vegetable or a type of dessert. You didn't have to actually purchase fly swatters. I mean, if you could, that would be like extra fun. But what I always use is just a couple of super long wooden skewers. I just stick something on the top of the stick and off they go. That's pretty much it. As per usual, if you need any SL worksheets or slides, my TPT store got you covered. I'll keep the link in description. Thank you for being here today. I'll see you next time.